Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and sorry for me changing voice, I'm catching court lately. Okay, on this video, I will explain how to read XML file and understanding the structure of XML file. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe, okay? I will give a brief introduction about what is XML file. A file with the XML file extension is an extensible markup language file. These are really just plain text files that use custom tags to describe the structure and other features of the document. To make it easier, you may compare it with another markup language, hypertext markup language or HTML that is used to encode web pages. The tutorial is divided into two parts. First is on how to read and understanding the structure of XML file, while the second is how to convert this file into a more understandable format like data frame and then save it as CSV or plain text. Dealing with XML data, the main package we'll rely on is XML. You may need as the same as mine here or you may not need them. The GC plot is needed for creating the graph, grid and grid extra are needed to arrange the plot we made. Some package like P LYR or DPLYR is sometimes needed as well. After we loaded all the libraries, let's change the working directory into the folder where we save the XML file. Here, we took film 1.0 is the XML file I want to read. Then, to read the XML file, we can use the XML parse function. This function has default of using UTF 8.0 encoding. However, if it gives you error, you may use another encoding such as ISO 8.8.5.9.1 like I use in here. Next, the XML root function gives the main content of the XML file, which is actually what is written inside the file. So it will give you a huge lines of data that may confuse you, especially if you are not familiar with this type of data. To summarize it, we can see the class of XML data will usually contains of three classes XML data, which is XML internal element node, XML internal node, and XML abstract node. Here, you should imagine an XML file as a tree with many branches, or we call here as nodes. It doesn't mean that our data has only three nodes, but in the inside, the internal of this tree contains several elements, and also uh, each of these nodes has label that gives the information of the node and this label is given by the abstract node class. The name of the main node or the tree is given by XML name functions as this is an opus instrument data it will give this name of the instrument as the information. Then the XML size gives the number of nodes or if it is a tree then it's the number of the branches. The XML file or the tree in this tutorial has 17 branches. Let's see the name of each branch or node by reading the attributes. We extract the attributes in the main contents by using XML supply. And if you are familiar with Apply and Lapi family, you will notice that the structure of XML file is actually similar with a list. Extracting the attributes name gives us the attributes of name for each node. And we can, of course, make it as a data frame to summarize all of this node. And you may notice that the value of the attributes is actually null. And, oops, sorry, I forget to extract the attribute names. So we make the data frame just to make it becomes a much more uh, familiar format in our studio. And Joomla means total in English. So each of the elements inside the nodes contains of some, like it one or maybe more than one elements. 
and then in the next tutorial I will give you the informations on how to extract all of these branches and the element inside to a data frames and if all of the contents are necessary it really depends on your purpose to extract the XML file and I hope that I will see you in the next video and thanks for watching.